ladies and gentlemen this is very very worrying and i think we've all seen how this movie plays out the un is planning on introducing mandatory digital ids that's going to be linked to your bank account how could this possibly go wrong well let me just quickly play you this clip from the world economic forum on what they plan on doing the very idea of human being some sort of natural concept is really going to change our bodies will be so high tech we won't be able to really distinguish between what's natural and what's artificial. One of the features of this fourth industrial revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. With the ability to visualize brain activity, for example, through a simple consumer-based EEG device, it gives us access to ourselves in ways that we've never before thought possible. It unlocks the black box that is the brain and enables us to um, really, truly be able to uh, realize an identity that is aspirational. That's right, everyone. Their ultimate goal. This is crazy. This is out of some dystopian movie this sounds like some crazy conspiracy theory but no this is coming from these unelected officials from the word their mouths and these are all the people that go ahead and tell the governments what to do because we're not really run by politicians anymore we're run by these three letter global organizations that we didn't elect they're telling you their plan in the future is for you to merge with technology because guess what if it wasn't easy enough to control the sheet now imagine how easy it'll be when they literally start putting chips in your brains and again another big crazy conspiracy theory Oh wait, that's right, Elon Musk is planning on doing that right now. So everyone, this is going to be a very important critical update, so you need to share this with your family, share this with your friends, to show them it's not some crazy conspiracy theory. So look at this everyone, United Nations planning digital IDs linked to your bank accounts. But of course, what are they going to say? Don't worry, it's going to be so much faster, easier, cheaper, absolutely nothing to worry about. We won't freeze your bank accounts. We won't shut down your bank account for saying the wrong thing or supporting a political opponent. So listen to this, everyone. The plan, which is similar to the system developed by the World Economic Forum, is outlined in three new policy briefs from the United Nations. Titled, A Global Digital Compact Reforms the International Financial Architecture and the Future of Outer Space Governance. So that's right, everyone. They're not just going to run the world. They want to run outer space now, too. Maybe they're trying to create the laws now for Elon Musk's dystopian future on Mars. The goal of the brief is to advance UN Secretary General's vision for the future. Officially titled, our common agenda. Their vision should be given the green light in September 2024 during an event dubbed the Summit for the Future. But don't worry everyone, when all these politicians, bankers and unelected bureaucrats get in a room together in secret, nothing bad ever happens, does it? So let's go over their report. They say digital IDs linked with bank or mobile uh, money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. So we can see how this is going to go hand in hand with their goal of universal basic income, where you may get a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. But uh, if you try to get ahead of anyone, try to build wealth, well, they'll cut you down and take your money and redistribute it after they've taken their share. Digital technologies may help to reduce leakage errors and costs in the design of social protection programs. Not unlike their unofficial counterparts over at the World Economic Forum, the UN also speaks about basically regulating the global digital future. This is what I'm so worried about, everyone. This is why I'm trying to speak up now because literally I think in the next few years, I won't be able to anymore. The unelected organizations use phrases such as international cooperation and many stakeholders who will advance principles, objectives, and actions to describe this globalist agenda. And the UN describes this goal as open, free, secure, and human-centered digital future. But I think we all know it's probably going to be the opposite of open and free. As far as the UN's vision for future global financial system, it is supposed to be harmonized with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It will be governed by something called the apex body that is yet to be set up, which goes hand in hand with their Great Reset Agenda, which they've tried to rebrand because of the huge backlash. The key actors here would be the UN chief, as well as a group of 20, the Economic and Social Council, and head of international financial institutions. Within this, the UN sees visions of a global digital compact. This is very, very worrying, everyone. Their objective is to have people, devices, and entities all connected in one network 
all controlled by them. When those planning this future scheme worry about any negative impact, they never see it as potentially affecting everyone, but only civil society, or selected groups excluded from social benefits. Meanwhile, the World Economic Forum just partnered with a leading biometrics company to advance its own agenda to digitalize humanity. The Swedish biometrics company Fingerprint Cards has taken a big step into the WEF's new champion community as assembly of mid-sized enterprises. The WEF is keen to promote biometric forms of digital ID and claims the technology would serve as a steward of social inclusion. Again, this all sounds great, people, but what it really is at the core is trying to buy your freedom. Now, they did face big, big losses in 2023. However, the firm plowed forward, achieving key milestones, including integrating its fingerprint biometrics in 700 Android smartphones and shipping 1 million biometric sensor modules for payment cards. So everyone, I don't know about you, but to me, this is very, very worrying. The last thing we have left, the last freedoms and privacy we have left is what goes on with our own body and with our own mind. But the World Economic Forum, the United Nation, these global elites, they know that and they're coming for it and coming for it quick. So like all the other agendas, you have to take a stand and go, look, wait up, hold up. This is going too far. No, we do not want this because we're already losing more and more free speech every day and we do not want to lose free thought. But everyone, what do you think about all this? Is this just a crazy conspiracy? Am I just going mad over here? Let me know down below. Now for my law viewers and subscribers who are watching, you're awesome. If you're wanting to learn how to build wealth for the last chance you may have left before the elites make it impossible, and if you're wanting to learn how to master the cycles of gold, silver, and Bitcoin, you can click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. I'll see you all in the next video.